What's up guys, it's Zach from Render Effects, and in this tutorial we'll be showing you how to run like the Flash in Final Cut Pro. Let's get started. What's up speedsters? We decided to reveal the secrets of super speed in Final Cut Pro. Let's get started. First, the filming of this effect. Set up your camera on a tripod. Your subject will need to perform two distinct actions. One, starting from position A, the subject explosively sprints towards location B. Two, the subject skids to a halt at location B. Also, capture a clean plate, a blank shot of your background. To avoid accidental camera movement, keep your camera rolling throughout these actions. Ensure your camera is set to manual focus and exposure. If you're filming with an iPhone, touch and hold the display to lock exposure and focus. With all your shots ready, let's jump into Final Cut Pro. Arrange your shots in the timeline as follows. Your subject explosively taking off, shot A. Clean plate, and then your subject skidding to a halt, shot B. For shot A, cut at the point where the subject explodes into a sprint. You can use the shortcut command option right bracket to trim the end at this point. Modify the duration of the clean plate to two frames using Ctrl D. For shot B, cut at the point where the subject skids to a halt. You can use the shortcut command option left bracket to trim the beginning of the clip. Create a freeze frame using option F of the final frame of shot A. Move this freeze frame on top of the clean plate and change its duration to two frames. Apply the draw mask effect to your freeze frame and cut around the subject. Then, using the transform tool, increase the x-axis scale and decrease the y-axis scale. This step helps maintain correct proportions, creating the illusion of speed by stretching the image horizontally and compressing it vertically, mimicking the way fast-moving objects appear to distort in real life. Next, adjust the position of the first frame of the freeze frame, placing it a third of the way from point A to point B. Add a keyframe on position, then move one frame forward and shift the x-axis towards point B. Before we complete this effect, leave a comment down below of what tutorial you want to see from us next. This video was actually suggested by a subscriber, we read all the comments, we'd like to hear from you. Apply the directional blur effect to your freeze frame. Ensure that the blur angle matches the subject's direction of travel. Then, modify the blur amount depending on how far or fast your subject is moving. Now, it's time to elevate this effect with some flash super speed lightning composites. For all VFX composites and motion elements, we use footage crate, first link in the description, and create a free account. Navigate to the VFX and motion elements tab, and then magic powers, and then scroll down and you'll find the flash lightning section. Now, locate and download the composite titled Yellow Lightning Enter Frame 2. Import this composite into Final Cut Pro and place it over the clean plate and the freeze frame. Line up the composite so it begins at the beginning of the freeze frame and clean plate. Trim the clip so it begins on the first frame the lightning is visible. Change the blending mode to screen. Then, using color wheels, adjust the luminosity, saturation, and hue to suit your scene. If necessary, apply the flipped effect to the composite to match the subject's direction of travel. Add the shape mask effect to the composite to soften any harsh edges. Then adjust the scale and position of the lightning so that it trails the subject on the first frame. Add a keyframe to position and frame by frame animate it to follow the subject. If you're in need of professional video editing, shoot us an email. From corporate videos to VFX to social media, we'd love to work with you. Next, head back over to Production Crate and download the composite titled Static Far. This will serve as the static lightning energy around the subject before they dash from point A to point B. Place the composite over top shot A and trim it so it spans the same duration. Just like with the lightning trail composite, change the blending mode to screen and adjust the luminosity, saturation, and hue to suit your scene. Then reposition and scale the composite to fit your subject. Keyframe the position and rotation and animate it frame by frame to match the movement of your subject. Also, add the end of this composite immediately after the lightning trail composite animated to the subject to show the lightning energy dissipating. Next, add an adjustment layer and change the duration to two frames, spanning over the last two frames of shot A. If you don't yet have a free adjustment layer installed, we have linked a free one in the description 
add the fisheye effect to the adjustment layer and change the amount to negative 0.5. Then reposition the center to align with the subject. Then add a keyframe on the position of the center, move one frame forward, and again align it with your subject. Now add a shape mask to the effect and adjust the shape to encapsulate your subject. Just as you did with the center, add a keyframe to the shape mask and animate the position so it follows the subject. Next, add another adjustment layer with a duration of 14 frames. Add the earthquake effect to the adjustment layer. Change the earthquake amount to your liking. On the fifth frame of the adjustment layer, add a keyframe on the earthquake amount. Then move to the last frame of the adjustment layer and change the amount to zero. Next, to truly ground this scene and sell your effect, add an adjustment layer over top all of your footage and add the handheld effect. This will create a more raw and authentic feeling, making your video seem candid. Now to the final and most important step, sound effects. As well as VFX composites and motion elements, Production Crate offers a diverse, high quality library of sound effects and music. Here are the sound effects we used. And now you can enjoy your finished product. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you'll also enjoy our tutorial on how to edit the Superman glowing eyes effect in Final Cut Pro. And remember, if you want to work with us, our inbox is open. Got a dash? Then I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace.